Tonight, it was more than a balloon release. It's about releasing pain. Mass shootings in Chicago creating lasting damage. Our Charlie DeMar live now with victim stories we continue to tell. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening, Brad. And we are talking about two mass shootings in less than 24 hours. Mayor Lori, Light, Mayor Lori Lightfoot rather calls the city of Chicago safe and says that the Chicago Police Department has a handle and a clear strategy to combat violence. But the grieving families that we were with tonight, they don't think so. Tonight, candles burn to remember the eight people shot inside an Inglewood house early Tuesday. Four of them died, including Shermitra Williams. She was 19. This was not her destiny. She just graduated yesterday. We shouldn't have to worry about being cut, killed in our own homes. The majority of the victims were shot in the head, likely by two gunmen, according to police. Those people in that home didn't deserve that. They wasn't gangbangers. They wasn't drug dealers. Hours later, another mass shooting. Five people were shot in Garfield Park just before 10 p.m. Tuesday. Saturday, 10 people were shot in Chatham. The trauma visible for the families of gun violence victims. It also weighs on the trauma surgeons who consistently try to repair the carnage. The symptoms of post-traumatic stress and acute stress are uh, high among trauma surgeons and trauma medical staff. Andy Wheeler works with families impacted by gun violence at Stroger Hospital. The true victims here are patients and families in their communities. On Facebook, a desperate call for blood donations. There's a nationwide shortage. And this post from a user claiming to work for the University of Chicago Medical Center says with a steady stream of gunshot victims, doctors could be forced to make difficult decisions. Back at the vigil for one of Chicago's latest mass shootings, these families forever torn apart by bullets. No arrests have been made. Police say they have been called to that house for disturbances in the past, but the superintendent otherwise describing that block as a quiet block as it relates to 911 calls. Reporting live from Chicago Police Headquarters, Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News.